All right, got a little bit of a different kind of video here. I'm gonna be doing a fire extinguisher test. The extinguisher up for testing today is this little guy. This is the HDR Performance model MX100 dry chemical fire extinguisher. This has exactly one pound of regular dry chemical, which is sodium bicarb. Any extinguishers this, this small are always gonna be filled with that and it's only rated for BC fires. So flammable liquids and it does not conduct electricity back at you. So this one, it's charged up to just under 100 PSI. It's normally right there. It had a little bit of an issue here having this in my vehicle. So I did lose a couple pounds of pressure just due to the weather. So otherwise, I just took the original, I just took the factory seal off, the tamper seal. But I'm gonna be testing it and then it'll get fixed. So here's the discharge nozzle. There's not much to it. But I've actually fired one of these, I've fired one of these off before, so don't let that little tiny hole fool you. This thing will spit it out. All right, this is the black version. So it fits pretty nicely in my black interior vehicle. But um, the, thing I've been, the thing I've been curious about lately, will this thing actually put out a fire? So I'm gonna test that out. So I got the bottom handle folds out and before I begin, for added safety, I have a five pound dry chemical fire extinguisher fully charged. If anything goes horribly wrong, I will run and I will come run and grab this. But I'm gonna be using a very small fire. So I'm using a little bit of gasoline inside one of these. Yeah, that one's melted a little bit. But it's gonna be a small controlled fire. And like I said, safety is beyond my number one priority. Here's the pan, has a little bit of fuel in it. Time to light it. It's not gonna be a super huge fire, but it'll do. All right, get the pin out of there. I'm gonna actually stand back a little bit. All right, I'm gonna hold my breath too. Here we go, three, two, one. And put it out. Still got some pressure left. Looks like it did pretty good. All right, so it doesn't put out fires. Yes, it does. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get this, I'll be getting this recharged here pretty quick. But there we go. It's that very white powder, the drag, the sodium bicarb. So there we go, cool. like a success since there's actually still some pressure left I'm gonna see if it'll light again yep here we go time for round two it's getting pretty low yeah it kills kills the fire pretty good about one more time or at least see if it'll not light anymore there we go well it still lights looks like it's cooking the agent a little bit I'm just kind of curious to see what it's doing. Yeah, it's all bubbling. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's starting to grow. All right, I'm gonna give it the final bow. There should be just about enough pressure. I'm gonna finish this off. Oops. <laughs> It'll blow away. All right, she's empty. Yeah, it'll blow away. <laughs> All right, so does this thing put out fires? 
yes it does so this is another this is another fire extinguisher i recommend so it's like this was a success it's a little bit of agent on the cylinder but it'll clean up nicely and this this thing will be it's, this thing is extremely cheap to recharge you can recharge this for under 20 bucks probably about 18 dollars but it depends on where where you're at and who you're using to recharge this but otherwise it's like it did what it's supposed to so that'll be it for now so thanks for watching